Hey guys, Jonathan here, Social Media Manager at Mytrix, and today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Xbox Game Pass on the Asus ROG Ally. I know a lot of people have this problem where they get the Asus ROG Ally and they're expecting everything to be set up just like the Steam Deck, and then when they turn it on to their surprise, boom, they're set with Windows 11. They have no idea what to do, and today we're going to show you how easy it is to set it up. So first, I boot up my Asus ROG. I'm just gonna put in my password real quick. And here we are, we're on Windows 11. I do have Xbox Game Pass already pinned to the start menu. But just so I can show you how easy it is, we're gonna go to the Microsoft App Store and we're gonna maximize the window. Then we're gonna type in Xbox. Game Pass. And we're going to download the Xbox app. Now, I already have it downloaded. It's very easy to set up. Once you click on that, it'll put that, that Xbox logo and the Game Pass will come up. Now, it'll ask you for you to sign up for Xbox Game Pass. If you already have an account, you can log in to your Xbox Game Pass account right here. And you can choose between like games like to install directly into your your system uh, like i have here i have hollow knight i have mortal kombat 11 i have forza horizon 5 or you can even try cloud gaming works just like the xbox works just like if you're on pc for an example i did try out uh tales of arise while i at least started it so um i'll show you guys what it looks like watch how fast um Watch how seamless and fast everything comes up and is able to be playable. You don't have to change any settings. You don't have to uh, connect the controller or, um, I don't know, do a cheat code to be able to access this kind of content. Um, there's, there's tons of cloud gaming, cloud streaming content you're able to access. Okay, and just like that, we're already in the game. Definitely expect a lot better performance than the Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch combined. Okay, so it just says save and begin. This is the start button. And just like that. Now, if you ever want to stop playing a cloud gaming, one of your cloud streaming apps, just click here, quit game. Okay, just like that. Now, we're going to show you a game we already have installed as well. Let's check out Hollow Knight. Having a game installed on your Asus ROG Ally is going to run much faster and you're going to have a lot better performance simply because Wi-Fi connection compared to just raw playing a game that's already on the system is just going to have a better performance. All right, we have here, start game. And as seamlessly as it, it was to launch the game, as seamless is, as it is for us to play. Let's get right in. Oh, he got me. Want to see if everything works out so you can see all the triggers and everything work we don't have to like change any of our settings any of our controls to be able to play this game it works just like if you would just play uh if you launch it on pc and you, you hook up a controller or if like you set it up on xbox game pass on your xbox console now if you want to be able to stop playing the game very easy way since the game is already installed you can just 
like your smartphone, flick, flick up, your Windows taskbar will pop up. You can just hold on the game. You can pick close window. And just like that, you can turn off the game. And you're right back at Xbox Game Pass. Now, I hope this video was very informational. Um, next video, we're actually going to be working on how to set up your ASICS ROG Ally with a third-party controller. So if you don't really like playing handheld games and you'd rather hook it up via HDMI to your TV and play with a controller, you're still able to do that. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.